Hello everybody, Terrell here from the originally from the Great Jamaican Outdoor Adventures. We have renamed our channel to Heart to Heart Travels and Adventures, and we are here in Helsha St. Catherine, originally developed by the UDC, guided by the NEPA environmental guidelines, and you know, carefully guided over the years in terms of um, you know the uh, person's ability to build structures here. And so you will see a lot of um, dry limestone forests. In fact, the largest dry limestone forest intact in the Western Hemisphere is forms a part of uh, Helsha. In fact, it's officially called the Portland Bight Protected Area. So we just want to carry you through Helsha and give you a glimpse of the homes. And uh, maybe I'll do another video one day to give you the history, the true history of Helsha. I'll start you right here. Ah, look at these mansions, folks. We're going to be driving and showing you. We're coming up to Sand Hills Bay, I believe, Cave Hill Estate. Further down is one of the first um, housing estates here developed by the UDC. So here we have Sand Hills Bay. Beautiful homes. Beautiful homes. Uh, these people go big. They go large in Helsha. And they have carefully developed their homes. You can see uh, new developments coming up over there. Mansions. If you want to see mansions, come to Helsha and Mandeville. There's something about those two parishes. Uh, or areas rather. Mandeville and also Helsha. Where the homes are supersized. And look at the drop dead gorgeous view of the... Helsha coastline you can see so it's a multi-million dollar view um, that the folks have when they come here to Helsha looking over the sea can you imagine waking up every morning to those sights and also the sound of waves lapping on the seashore here we are you're seeing the dry limestone forest hills of Helsha. In fact, it was populated with iguanas many years ago, but um, they were hunted um, by persons and also hunted by wild dogs. And so, you know, the UDC and NEPA got involved, the UDC led a project, and they are now repopulating uh, a certain area of Helsha with the iguanas in a careful program along with the Jamaica Zoo and a number of partners and so I just want to show you these beautiful sights as we come up on the Helsha Road and we are seeing why so many people love to come to Helsha it is a beautiful they laid out homes look at them those mansions we're gonna be carrying you to some other areas I believe this will be perfect for Airbnb, if you could get a property here and develop it, some beautiful American style homes, different styles. I'm seeing a little Latin American, Mexican style in some of these homes, and it's really impressive what they have done. Here we're coming up to this one, and, and some of them intend to stand out. Look at this one, they intend to stand out, they're not hiding the um, opulence. <laughs> and the growth and why not you work hard if you work hard you deserve to you know live it up here's this one this mob for purple colored homes let's head on over to sand hills vista look at these beautiful welcome signs for these different homes and um yes so we're looking at a totally different thing here now we're looking at an area where the residents get a starter home and then they develop these homes over time you know Jamaicans all they need is just a little inch and they can develop themselves develop their property I believe NHT and also UDC would have been involved in some of these um, structures and homes and so yes UDC would have given divestment of the land I believe and um, you know a careful plan had to be formatted for the development somebody here is developing a mansion and over here there's a beautiful home 
very unique that's at the end of this road right here beautiful look at the black and the orange and the details on this one very interesting jamaicans are some of the most creative folks you can see there's a coordination on these streets with the colors there's a deliver, deliberate attempt to stand out, to have identity, to have beauty, to have some sort of um, uh, identification with a certain social class perhaps. And then you can see um, someone here has gone up with their home, um, double level, beautiful home indeed, beautiful. Jamaicans proud and strong at our 60th independence we are not to be messed with just give us an inch and we take many miles look at these homes folks you can see a common feature at the top there um, that triangle at the top and let's head back down the road and you can get a sweeping view Look at these colors. I'm moving from all the color spectrums. Yellow and blue and red. Very interesting, very unique. Um, Sand Hills Vista here in St. Catherine, Jamaica. Wow, 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 wow. Look at these homes. Beautifully crafted. And as we head out of Sand Hills, we head up Lignum Vite Drive. You see the hardworking construction man there. Yes, a lot of Jamaican men are skilled, hardworking and skilled. And so um, we are heading up the road, trying to get out of the scheme if we can find our way out of this scheme. And uh, we're showing you more as we head. We're in a cul-de-sac. And in this cul-de-sac, at the end of it, you see a beautiful uh, blue home. You see beautiful green home. And so, even though Jamaica may be so-called third world, which uh, that term needs to be thrown out, but we are an independent, thriving country and we have great dreams visions and plans for our future and so you can see some of these homes the landscaping really stands out uh, here is a pagoda the garage and um beautiful home so here another cul-de-sac here as we go around and show you the various homes here in Elsha St. Catherine. We are thankful for the opportunity to show you these homes on the heart to heart travels. So if you need somewhere for an Airbnb, perhaps this is a place you want to come. You can search for it online uh, on the Airbnb website. Just type in Helsha and it will pop up. Maybe you can type Sand Hills Vista and you will see that as well yes a very interesting um housing scheme here and helsha has come a long way for those of you who know helsha uh, it was a very wooded area very rocky lots of stones and it took a lot of hard work for it to reach to this place of development so we want to say kudos to the homeowners who took the time out the money investment the vision to develop their community and we head out of sand hills vista and we head back down to the beautiful area and one of the things about helsha that i ap appreciate is a wide open expanse in terms of the road you know there's no uh you know as we say in jamaica chucked up living everybody has their space their lot and there's a sea nothing is as therapeutic as sea therapy some people call it salt therapy so 
So here we continue our journey down. Another sweeping view of the Caribbean Sea. Here in Hesha, and we're coming up back on the main road. And as we come up the main road, we see another mansion on the left. major investment in the Helsha region so for you folks who are online who haven't been to Jamaica in years you need to come on and invest in your country here's another beautiful home you can see the cut stone features beautiful home here in Helsha St. Catherine Everybody wants a view of the Caribbean Sea as part of the housing concept here in Helsha. So we just wanted to show you that and maybe do a, an exhaustive follow video on the other housing scheme. We don't have time to go through all of these in one day. So we are heading back and we're going to turn right back onto the Helsha main road. Peace out from the heart to heart. Travels and Adventures YouTube channel.